There are all kinds of assumptions in your startups. I like using this model, which uh, people have alluded to earlier, but basically desirable, viable, and feasible. But I started thinking of these themes, and, and as product managers, you know and kind of live and breathe these themes. Um, you know, desirability being do they, uh, viability being kind of should we, you know, is it financially viable perspective? You should also have a moral compass on should we as well. And then uh, feasibility being can we. When we say can we, I like thinking about beyond just technical feasibility and more into overall feasibility. Are we gonna hit governance or regulations that prevent us succeeding with this sprint? And we fail as a team if we're not addressing all three of these. But if you start overlaying that, you can kind of use your product thinking to start looking holistically at the business model. A lot of your desirability risk is from your value prop and your customer segment, okay? Your viability risk, the should we, is the bottom, so cost structure and revenue. And then feasibility is not just technical feasibility, but it's also regulatory, it's patents, it's infrastructure. So usually what I do is I start with the value prop, I go to the customer segment, I talk about the channels and how we reach them, how we build relationships with them, and then how we make money, okay? And then backstage, what are the activities, resources, how much does that cost, and then who do we partner with? Where do you think your biggest risk is? Is it in desirability? Is it in value prop, customer relationship, channel, value prop? Is it there? Customer segment, that, that section is four. Is it at the bottom? Is it viability, cost structure, revenue stream? Or is it in feasibility, more your partnerships, activity, resources?